Every day across the county, there are people who are giving their spare time to help make a difference, from preserving our heritage to making tea. None of these things would happen without the volunteers. What you see on display in any museum is often just a fraction of the collection. Many of these items rarely see the light of day, but still need care and attention to preserve them for future generations. Georgina is between university courses and wants a career working in a large museum. To gain some valuable experience, she is volunteering in the costume store at the Ironbridge Gorge Museum. Well, I work here one day a week and for the rest of the week I work full-time in a jewellery shop. Um, that's just to fund my volunteering and to keep me busy. These days it's very difficult for not just graduates, for anybody to go and get a job. There's a lot of people and they're all searching for very similar posts. So in the heritage sector in particular, if you're looking to be a curator or you're looking to have a role within a museum where you're looking after collections or, well, I mean, just about any role really, there's going to be a lot of people chasing that role. So the more experience and a better reference uh, and as, as much as you can put on your CV as possible, the more likely you're going to stand out in that, in that group of people who have applied for the job. And not only that, it's, it should also be enjoyable. So if, usually if you're going to work in a museum, you're not really here for the money. <laughs> you're here because you want to have a job that you enjoy and you're passionate about. So anybody volunteering here should be able to kind of fulfil that passion and enjoy what they're doing while also gaining the skills and building their CV. Part of what Georgina's been doing is checking and repacking the museum's collection of historical garments, which are kept in these boxes. And when she opens one, she's never sure exactly what she'll find inside. Well, last week we opened a box and inside it was a 1920s dress and it was absolutely lovely. It had a drop waist and you do wonder who wore it and how many parties it had been to and the things it had seen and how it even ended up in the museum. The stories do stay with the dress. I mean, you can certainly research dresses of the period, but you'll never know exactly what that dress, what life it has had. It's not just preserving costumes that Georgina finds interesting. Some of the objects we've been looking at, I have had a little bit of research into, especially some of the dresses, because they're so beautiful, and you do wonder who wore them and why there were changes between the dresses, even between dec decades, what caused those changes, what social happenings were going on and caused the dresses to change shape. Every five years, each box is opened and the contents taken out, checked for damage and deterioration, then repacked. And as many of the dresses are over 100 years old, you have to know what you're doing. We are able to our staff are able to give them a lot of training, so on-the-job training, but also health and safety training. They're able to get um, the experience, so the hands-on experience, but we will train in whatever they need to know for the role. So, you know, that's what they're getting from us. They're hopefully getting all the skills and experience that they need. Before coming to Ironbridge, I had little experience of collections management and conservation, but since working here, I've gained more skills. The process is, it's fairly common sense, just, um, you know, to lift with both hands, never lift an item up, you know, by its arm. Um, there's some things that we have been trained along the way as how to use the tissue paper and how to fold it for padding and things like that as well. The work can be painstaking. It depends how delicate an item is. I mean, I would hate to rip an item, so you all have to be very careful about how we handle it, and that can take quite a lot of time. As with all large collections, it's important to keep detailed records of what the items are and where they're stored. We catalogue the items we find. We just type it into a database. Um, we write down the accession number, and that's a number that every single item in the collection will have. And using that number, we will describe the item and write down where its location is. So at all times, you'll know where every item is in the collection. I think the items we find are, are very important because they show 
an insight into a different world rather than just reading a book or a document on something. It's actually seeing the item and you can feel it and imagine it being put to use. So from that point of view, it's very important. It's so much more interesting than any other job I've done. And in, if you want to work in something for your entire life, you might as well enjoy it. I think Ironbridge has more than lived up to my expectations of volunteering here. It's been absolutely brilliant. Lucy and Gillian are great at offering different opportunities for me to build on my career. And they're always putting me forward for different projects, which is great. So it's been brilliant, actually, and very good. Equipped with the new skills she's learnt at the museum, Georgina is now one step closer to getting her dream job. After doing this and then my Masters, I'd like to go straight into museum work, either collections, management or exhibitions, which I really enjoy, and just working my way up the ladder. Um, generally curatorial work. At some point I might even have to do some more further education to specialise in a certain area. Um, but I would love to work in a massive museum in London, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.